Hello lovely people, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all well. Today's video, very exciting, is in partnership with Charles and Keith. Now, you kind of, if you've been a long-term follower, you'll know that I really love their pieces and I have a pair of heel black sandals that you may have seen me wear in quite a lot of videos. They're kind of my go-to black strappy sandal. They're so comfortable as well. Um, so really love the brand and their shoes are gorgeous. But today I'm going to be talking about Charles and Keith bags. Now, if you want to know a bit more of a background about Charles and Keith, they are a bags, shoes and accessories brand that really concentrates on curating the latest trend. And they allow women to express their versatility through fashion. And I feel like the brand really lends itself to my personal style and the fact that their pieces are so on trend, but also really wearable and versatile as well. So I've got four beautiful bags that I'm going to talk you through and also show you how I would style each bag in a couple of different ways. I feel like all the bags I could style with pretty much all of my wardrobe, but I'm just going to show you two ways to style each outfit and mix things up a little bit. So firstly, let's go into the chain strap mini bag. You'll be able to see in the cutaway some really close up detailed imagery of these bags. So this bag offers versatility in spades. It's such a useful shade of navy. It's a really great size for one. And it also offers a little pop of color with this two tone chain strap. So for my first outfit, I paired it with a nice casual relaxed look. This is kind of the perfect Sunday brunch companion bag to take along with you. And it just brings, I think, a strength of color to this quite light outfit. I love the navy with the stripes, very French, very Breton kind of style. And to me, I really love, I've spoken about this in the past, but I really love a hint of a gold strap on a bag. I think it just gives it that bit of something extra. And what I even love more about this bag is the blue part of the chain strap. I just think that's really unusual, something I've not really seen before in a bag. But you've got that real pop of gold in there and then the blue, I just think it's so unusual so unique. This also comes with a plain strap if you wanted a little bit of a plainer look depending on where you are wearing this bag. Perhaps you're taking it to work with you. It's a really nice useful size to pop all your things in um, and I'll show you in my next outfit how I'm wearing it with the other strap on. Now it is really really roomy inside as I mentioned. It's got a zip pocket which I always find is so so handy on a bag. That is something I kind of look for when I'm investing in a bag is a zip pocket to put all my things in. You can put cards in there, a bit of change, just kind of some essential things that you want to keep really extra safe. Um, so I love the fact that it's got the zip. And then it's actually surprisingly, it's a relatively small bag, um, but it's surprisingly roomy inside. You could fit a lot in there. I don't even think I would fill this bag because I tend not to carry too much on me, um, but it's got two pockets as well. You've got one at the front, you could fit something a bit slimmer in there. And then you've got um, a bigger middle pocket that you could fit slightly chunkier things in, your lipstick, a little compact, your phone, etc. So it's a really, really nice size. And like I say, I just think the navy pops against these lighter colored jeans. And then I just wanted to tone it in with the striped top. So for the next look, as I said, I wanted to show you with the adjustable strap on. So I've got the plain navy strap on with this and I've just gone for an all navy head to toe look. Just, I love that monochrome head to toe one color look. I think it's so chic and navy head to toe to me is just the ultimate classic look. So this bag is calf faux leather and it also has the push lock closure, really easy to do and snap into place. And I also love this kind of fun little extra addition at the front, I think it's so cute. Also love the fact that it's got a top handle so you can carry it like that. Like I say, if you're wearing it to work, this would be a really nice way to carry it. This also, I always, I always say this, but I think blacks and navies go really nicely together. But this bag to me would go with all your light spring colors, 
tan, it would look really nice with beiges, it would look nice with a pop of colour, red, pink, it would go with so much but as I say here I just wanted to do that head to toe navy look. Okay so now onto the acrylic chain handle crossbody, I'm a bit obsessed with this bag, I think it's so cute, I love everything about this. This acrylic handle is just so fabulous. Again, like the navy one, I just think it provides something really unique and really different, but also it will blend seamlessly into your outfits. And I think this is such a nice one for all those outdoor dining occasions where we want a nice summery bag that's not too big, not too heavy. This is ideal. So this is, let me get this right, thermoplastic polyurethane and calf faux leather. And again, it comes with the adjustable strap, which I will show you in my second look. So for the first outfit, I just wanted to go all out fresh spring, summer evening. Um, going out for a few drinks, I think this would be the perfect little companion to take along with you. And again, I've done a monochromatic look in this head to toe white and I think the bag just looks so striking even with all that white. I think the bag really stands out because it's so unusual and unique and just provides again something like a pop in that outfit that's so plain. Has a magnetic closure strap and it's also again really roomy inside for a small bag. I know sometimes um, if you're kind of going out in the evening or going out for a meal Sometimes the bags that we use are a little bit too small for our things that we want to take with us, but this is a really, really nice size. I love the fact that it's slightly see-through, but not too much that you can actually see inside it, but you can just slightly see through. Um, and it's just, like I say, really unusual. I think my favorite part has to be, actually, I do really like the strap, but I also love this huge gold buckle and I think this is what makes it such a unique um, and standout design. And like I said before, I just like those gold accents within my bags and I just feel like they really do bring that pop of something, particularly if you're wearing gold jewellery, it just really picks up on that. And then like I said, you can then swap the acrylic strap for the plain one and then just wear it as a cross body or you could just wear it down your shoulder like that. It just provides a slightly more casual look so it doesn't have to be an evening bag. I don't think this does anyway with this strap on but I think the other strap just makes it a little bit more appropriate for the daytime. Now I'm wearing it here with a knitted cohort suit set and I just think it's a really nice, easy, casual daytime look and I love the combination of the beige with white. That's one of my favorite color combos, beige and white together. I just think it works so, so well. It would actually also work really nicely with this blazer and white t-shirt look. Just a nice casual look and if you are like me um, and wear quite minimal pieces of clothing then to have a bag like this really stands out and just pops I think even against a knitted suit the white just pops right out. Definitely a really really handy one to have in your wardrobe for the upcoming season. Okay so let's talk about the braided bucket bag in this amazing mustardy yellow shade. This is just the ultimate pop of summer sunshine. So this is calf faux leather and napper faux leather. And again, it comes with the adjustable strap. So you've got the shorter one here and then the longer one that I've got on here. It has a zip closure, so it keeps all your things nice and secure. And it's also really roomy inside, so it can fit plenty in. So I really love the braided detail on this. I think it just provides something really unique and different and I also love that it's kind of edged in the black. It really lends itself to wearing it with an all black outfit like I have done in the first clip. And I think often we shy away from wearing black in the spring summer months but this yellow pop just completely brings it into the new season. So I've got it on with the all black look with the shorter strap, just popped it over my shoulder. This is a really nice outfit. On a warm day, if you're going out for something to eat um, and you just want 
a little pop of colour, this bag is perfect. And like I say, it fits plenty in it, so if you are going out for the day, you can fit all your things in there. And I love the flat base of this, so you can just pop it down on a table really easily. I also love the way this bag looks with a light wash denim. I think this yellow shade and a light wash just works so well together. It's so fresh, it's so bright, and also it's so easy to wear and style. So I'm wearing these um, light denim jeans just with a simple white t-shirt. It's a really understated classic look, which means when you're wearing something so minimal, you can then go for a nice strong bag and let that be the talking point of your outfit. And then the longer strap just has a more casual feel to the shorter one. You can just pop this crossbody, throw it on as you're heading out the house and it's just a really easy way to inject some colour into your outfit. So we have next the embellished saddle bag. I love this bag. It's an understated cream finish with gold accents which is just so chic. It's a perfect addition to any fashion girl's wardrobe. I love the kind of short strap and the saddle bag shape. So chic, so on trend, but so wearable as well. It's a really handy one to just bring around wherever you're going. Lots of room inside and also got the zip so you can secure all your cards and things in there. And it's also got a little front pocket where you can just slip some extra bits in. It's got the magnetic closure too. So nice and easy to just shut and then you can be on your way. It's got the adjustable strap as well. And also you can take this strap off and just use it as a really chic, minimal clutch bag. I think that's definitely something I would do in the evenings is just take off the strap. But then in the daytime, you can pop this on, adjust it to whatever length you want and just makes a really chic, easy daytime piece that kind of is understated, but also really noticeable at the same time. So the first way I'm wearing this is a bit of a daytime look, just a nice casual blazer in a kind of contrasting, but still minimal beigey tone. Um, and then I'm wearing it with a simple top underneath and some denim. This looks so great with denim. I feel like this is such an easy, wearable, versatile piece. I think it would go with so many things in my own wardrobe, um, probably in yours as well, um, but it's just a really easy one to pair together with things. And I just feel like it kind of gives a modern spin to every outfit. So like I say, in the daytime, simple jeans, blazer, pop this on and you have a really nice practical talking point to your outfit. And then for the second look, this is a nice casual daytime look. Maybe you're going out for lunch um, and you want to look a little bit dressy but also casual at the same time. So I've got some jeans on in a really similar tone and then I've paired it with black. I think this um, shade looks really nice against black. Um, I've just got a black tank top on and then some strappy heels with it. And this just looks so nice with it. And with this look, you could also take the strap off, just use it as a clutch bag for a kind of casual, but slightly dressier look. Such a gorgeous piece and I feel like it will fit so well into anybody's wardrobe. So thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you've enjoyed it and got some inspiration. Let me know below if you'll be purchasing any of the Charles and Keith pieces or let me know which one your favorite of the bags was. I feel like I can't really choose. They were all quite different um, and unique in their own way, but I also feel like all of them will fit really well into my style and wardrobe. So I really can't choose a favorite. But I do I do really like, oh no, I can't choose. I do really like the saddle bag though. So yeah, let me know your fave below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click subscribe. Also give me a thumbs up if you like this video and I'll see you in my next one.